Hello, I'm Roberta. I'm the host of What's Cooking with Roberta. We're going to cook fancy potatoes. It's a family favorite. I have pre-cooked uh, pre and boiled potatoes. Um, they call it the potatoes from the Northeast. Um, and I cut them up into small pieces. Of course, you can peel, cook them, peel them with the peeler. I always use a knife because I've cooked them that way longer than using a peeler. And when they get very soft and tender, then you want to mash them up with a small beaters. And I use a pan that I received as a wedding gift 64 years ago. It's a heavy metal uh, barberware pan and I still use it. I do this in the sink because sometimes the mashed potatoes will fly out and then you've got them all over your counter or walls or whatever. One eighth ounce of cream cheese. And it's good if you can have that cream cheese out of the refrigerator a little bit so that it has softened up. One cup of sour cream. And I like daisy sour cream because it's more creamy, softer than the sour cream that I generally buy from my local grocery store of their brand. Russet potatoes is the name of the potatoes I couldn't think of. Um, I used five potatoes. You gauge it by how many people you're going to be having for whatever event. And this is a special we call it our family favorite smashed potatoes. It's great for any holiday or special family gathering. After I got everything all mashed up, then you add um, garlic salt and I just shake in a bunch and there again, it depends upon how many potatoes you use, depending upon how many people are going to be at your event and also um, then put that into a casserole bowl, not greased, and I use a spatula to get it all out of the pan. And then you put dots of butter around on top of the potatoes and sprinkle paprika on top. Now this paprika especially from Hungary. My daughter and her husband were teaching school over there. So this is an extra spot kind of paprika and it's a little more potent than the kind you buy at the grocery store, but it's any paprika will work good. So this goes into the oven for 300, at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. Now at the same time you could also be cooking any kind of meat or fowl uh, on a cookie sheet or in a small pan uh, so that the temperature is always the same as what you've got for your main dish and it can all come out of the oven at the same time. So I'm going to put this in the oven now. 
Okay, the buzzer is going off. So that means that the potatoes are done. Ooh, they look good. I can get over there. And also with this, if you get tired of even eating mashed potatoes three days in a row, you can put some of these in here. Although, if this has a lid on top of it, and a lid is preferable to aluminum foil, it will last about three days in the refrigerator. Then you could put this in here, and it would be good for about six more months in the freezer. Take this, when you take uh, this out of the freezer, put your potatoes in a, on a plate and reheat it for one, one and a half to two minutes. And if you'd like to add a little more butter on top at that time, that's okay too.